Hello guys, it's me Chris, back again. You are not gonna get rid of me that easy. Today I bring you a tireless video of course, as you can see, and we are gonna rank all the new arms against tyranny achievements. I don't know why, but I just felt like it. So let's get started. The first one is called the Magic School Bus. And you have to drive the Per Albis bus to Cape Town. I don't know what this means because I don't know anything about the new DLC, so I'm just gonna put it in Y Paradox. Next up we have Danzig Queen, and simply as Sweden you have to own Danzig. It's very straightforward, you just have to enter World War II after Poland falls and go against the Axis. It's a very basic achievement, so it's gonna go in kind of average. Next up, the return of the king, as the exiled king of Gotland retake mainland Sweden. Again, I do not know how the Swedish focus tree plays out, so I guess this is some kind of civil war scenario. It sounds pretty difficult, and uh, if I understand it correctly, you will only control the island of Gotland, and it's pretty tricky to pull naval invasions when you are that small of a nation, so this will also go in average for now. I don't see how that will be very fun, but it will surely be challenging, so that's some points for that. Next satisfactory have, have at least one MIO per category at level 10 plus. I don't know what that means, it's gonna go in average. Sami united by the fire, as Sami own and control every Sami core. Another straightforward achievement. And you know what, I really enjoy when Paradox does achievements like this, where you have to conquer and unify a certain region. I do not think it's gonna be very difficult, but it should at least be a bit of fun. This is gonna go in good one. Haramel Dansen, a Sweden puppet Japan. I don't understand the reference, and judging by the fact that Sweden and Japan are on different sides of the planet, this is gonna be a little difficult. And if you try to get this one, it will probably turn into a world conquest. But playing Sweden, you don't really get attacked that much, so I will just put it in Y paradox. Okay, next up we have a good one. Med Plutonium 2. This one I really like because if you don't know, there is a very old achievement somewhere around here. There, the original Med Plutonium nuked Denmark as Sweden. And this one is a very old achievement, so a couple years later we had the second one, which you have to play Denmark and nuke Sweden. I think this is very funny and I like the little callback. And you know what, I'm not a really big fan of war crimes. But if I am gonna get an achievement for nuking a bunch of civilians, I am your man. The only bad part about it is that you'll have to play a lot to get nukes. But I am gonna put it in good one nonetheless. Lone Wolf. As Finland form Greater Finland and own every core and claim without having ever joined a faction. This achievement is also very good because it's very challenging and it goes hand in hand with Finish Him, one of the hardest achievements in Hearts of Iron 4. And you can have a very challenging game, a very rewarding game and you can do them both at once. I like this. This one is gonna go all the way to the top. Vinland as Iceland conquer Newfoundland. I don't know what the Icelanding focus tree has to offer, but I really hope you can form Vinland. And if you can, it's a very big shame that this achievement is this simple and it doesn't require you to actually form the nation and probably get cores on North America or something like that. But because this one is here, you probably can do that with Iceland. And that's a shame because I'm a very big Vinland Saga fan and I'm reading the manga daily. I mean, as soon as a chapter gets out, I read it. Because it is one of the best pieces of fiction that the human race had to offer. I suggest you try reading it, you are losing on a lot of good stuff. But back to our business, this achievement is kind of average. Next we have this achievement that I tried to pronounce for the past two minutes and I just decided to give up. As Norway own and control the state of Burgon. You just have to conquer France. It's it's easy and it's it's boring. Why paradox? Next up, two arms against tyranny. As Finland capitulated the Soviet Union while having a two-country faction with another Nordic. See guys, this one, this is, is very bad. I liked Lone Wolf so much because you could do it together with another one, but for this one, you just have to do the same thing as Lone Wolf and finish him, but this time you have an ally that won't help you with anything anyway. So why paradox? Why are you doing this? Norway Jose, as Norway own and control every Mexican core. I, I don't get the joke. It's, it's, it's not funny paradox. I... I don't know what to tell you. Another Y paradox. Seize your fighter is next as Norway with Peter Jarlsburg as country leader own those states. So you have to get some British territory and some French territory and Holland. 
well, this one is certainly gonna morph into a world conquest because you have to fight the allies and most likely the Axis. Hot Wars as Iceland capitulate the UK. This one sounds a little bit rough, but I really like inflicting pain on the United Kingdom, so this is gonna get a pass from me. It's a good one. Quite challenging, but it could be fun. Euralic Brothers Unite as Finland have Hungary, Estonia, Sami, Karelia and a lot more Russian republics as your subjects. Yet another Finland achievement. This one is a little bit different and I think you can do this together with Lone Wolf and finish him, so this is good. It's a little bit tedious because you have to keep track of all of those countries. It could make for a challenging and fun run, but you just probably will get this after you get the others to and just release those nations. But unfortunately, if you play historical, you will have to fight the Axis for Hungary. And who knows who else you will have to fight for that. But in non-historical, you will certainly have to do a world conquest. Next up, we have Brexit. As Communist Iceland make Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland rise up against the United Kingdom. As funny as this is, making them rise up did they implement the by blood alone's african decisions into iceland this this sounds like it i don't like it i really hate it how that works and if it works the same for iceland i will have to put this in y paradox everything is awesome is next as denmark get maximum welfare spending after january 1st 1941 without being puppeted or capitulating i do not know what that means so it's another y paradox the Danelaw as Denmark conquer England. Easy, straightforward, and it was very predictable that this is gonna be an achievement. Well, it could be interesting, let's put it in good one. And the last one for today, no one crosses the finish line. As non-aligned Finland survived the Soviet Union until September 19th, 1944 without losing control of a single core ever. Well, this one is either gonna be one of the new hardest achievements in Hearts of Iron 4, or it's one that you will just get for free in one random game because the Soviet didn't attack you. So I, I don't, I, I really don't know about this one. It sounds like you could do it together with the other ones, but it, it might be really hard to keep the Soviets from naval invading and shit like that. Well, I'm gonna put it in average. So this is gonna be my final ranking, boys. Tell me in the comments if you agree with me or you have any changes to make. I also want to know if you guys want to see more of those stylist videos. It would be fun to do this with the other DLCs. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are not, join the Discord server in the description, join my Patreon, and I also want to thank the two brave guys that give me a warm meal once a month, Plossy and Tommy Lea one Bye bye, watch those videos as well.